Well, how's it going, guys? It's your pal Chris here, and I am back in the pickup truck. That's right, the very pickup truck that stopped running on the highway, it's back. And we've got good news and bad news. Good news, um, we took it to the shop, and it was not very expensive. They charged me 60 bucks. Yeah, think about 60 bucks. That's not too bad. Here's the bad news. They couldn't diagnose it. So the the issues that they thought it could be, maybe a bad fuel pump, uh, maybe a bad fuel filter, or maybe a bad uh, filter housing. It could have been uh, one of those three things. The only issue is there's no sign of fuel leaking out of the system. So if it's losing fuel pressure, that fuel has to be going someplace. Where's it going? We don't know. Uh, so it's a little bit of a mystery right now. Uh, they were not comfortable charging me uh, to just start swapping parts off of the truck, and I appreciate that. It's a good, good shop. I've worked with them before. I think what I'm going to do is I'm here over at the uh, auto parts store behind me, and I'm going to I'm going to pick up a few parts if they're not too expensive, and I'll throw them on the truck, and um, or maybe I'll just keep them in the truck, and if uh, if the problem crops up again. Uh, then I'll start replacing parts and I will be prepared to do that. Take Mercedes. Think they work at the auto parts store or the hair salon? Guys, I'm still at the auto parts store. Just got back into the truck. I was checking some parts, getting pricing. Got into the truck, fired it up, and she died. That's actually really good news because I could be, uh, I, I can maybe be a little detective on this. Now check this out. I'm gonna, I'm sorry, I suck at this. I'm gonna try to show you, like right here. Can you guys see that? There's a little bit of wetness there. I think this tells us what it is. I'll bet you it's a little seal. It's a little gasket in here. So let's try this. I've got the uh, manual pump here. Oh yeah, it just lost all pressure. So if I pump this guy up, and I pump it until I can't pump it anymore. Oh yeah, man, it's wet. It's wet all over there. Let's go try it out. See if we can get the key. The key is here. No, the key is not there. Oh man, this is kind of exciting. Keys in, let's see. Like nothing even happened. This is good news. We're going to go shopping again. Okay, now we're back in the garage. Or we're here in the garage. You guys have never been in my garage, and there's honestly not much to see. Um, but this truck, we are going to fix it. The problem is that thingy, that, this. And I think we're going to fix it with this. I have no intention on turning into an auto repair channel. It's not what I do. But since you guys might already be invested, if you got a few minutes to spare, well, let's hang out in the garage for a little bit, even though it's 102 degrees outside. That's 38 Celsius. Let's find out if we can make the thing run and start and stay running again. All right.
Okay guys, so I'm hot, I'm sweaty, and I'm sorry for the appearance, but it is what it is. I have fixed the doo-wop hingy thingy jig uh, on the truck. I think I have. We've screwed everything down tight. We've got the fuel system primed. I'm going to head back here, give it a start, fire it up. Fingers crossed. That's pretty good. We'll drive it around for a little while, see what happens, and uh, hopefully call it a day on this one. This is great news. All right, now we've driven the truck around for a little bit, and it's performed perfectly. Uh, she hasn't skipped a beat. The engine's been running strong. Um, in fact, I notice there seems to be a little more torque when I really step on it. So maybe it was just a issue of not having enough fuel pressure all along. Uh, at any rate, I took a look at the rubber seals that were around this fuel pump housing bracket thing, um, and they were pretty dried up and cracked and uh, a little bit crusty. So I guess after all those years, they'd done their job. So it really wasn't a big deal at all. Um, in fact, now I'm a little embarrassed that I even took it to the shop in the first place. But you know what? That's the way things go sometimes. I'm happy. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Uh, I don't plan on taking a automotive repair twist on the channel at all, but sometimes I am going to do little things around the place, and, um, you know, I enjoy it, so I figure some of you guys might enjoy it as well. Uh, you're welcome along with me for the ride, and... Uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will see you the next video. Oh good, it's cooling down. <laughs>